Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Epcot. There's only one more day till Christmas and I wanted to come out and enjoy some more of the holiday season here at Walt Disney World. I'm more than likely gonna be at Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day, so I figured Epcot would be a perfect day for today. We're gonna go around, check the wait times, ride some rides, eat some food. I got reservations at Teppanito and we're gonna have some holiday hibachi and just enjoy an Epcot day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's pretty much a well-known fact that it is super busy Christmas week at Walt Disney World and the wait times kind of show that. Spaceship Earth is 45 minutes and look at that line. It goes all the way down and around. So we're gonna check on all the wait times and hopefully get on some rides. Use single rider if we have to. It's funny because I loaded up the Genie app and it started calculating the magic and it said no lightning lanes available and then it asked me if I wanted to pay $15 for the Genie Plus app and I was like, why would I pay $15 if you just said there was no lightning lanes available? I'm sure they were talking about the individual lightning lanes but it was still kind of funny and I skimmed through and there's only like a couple lightning lanes and it's not till like 7, 8 o'clock tonight. So it's pretty much pointless to get it here right now. So that means we're gonna have to rely on the good old standby line and also maybe single rider. So we might be able to ride single rider on test track. That depends though, because sometimes the wait for single rider is longer than the standby. Depends on how many people are riding in like groups of three or not. I'm also excited for some hibachi later on. I love teppanito and I feel like it's kind of a holiday thing to eat like Chinese food, Japanese food, Thai food because a lot of places of business are actually open during the holiday season. So I feel like in the past I've always had like Chinese takeout on Christmas day and stuff like that. So it kind of fits in with the holiday-ish here, you know? I always get nervous when I start approaching test track and I don't hear the cars actually going round and round. So it might be closed at the moment. Oh no, it looks like test track is down. That kind of makes me a little sad. I actually had expectations of coming in today and actually doing the single rider line on test track. But maybe we'll hang out in this area and wait to see if it comes back up because sometimes that happens. And that means it's gonna be a very low wait time. In the meantime, let's do like the second best ride here at Epcot. Mission Space. I'm not too sure if we're gonna do the green or the orange. Uh, sometimes I'm in a more intense kind of day. Sometimes I'm in a less of an intense kind of day. So we're gonna have to decide when we get up there. And in case you didn't know, I was making a little joke there. I don't think Mission Space is the second best ride at Epcot. A lot of people don't enjoy like the feeling you get as you ride Mission Space. I still think the ride itself is a good ride. So maybe we will do the less like intense version, the green version, because I do like the concept of it, but no one wants to feel like that G-Force, especially when you're about to eat too. That's a roughin. Or when you've been drinking. Oh. The wait time for the green side, the less intense, is only 10 minutes. So that makes me more interested in doing that one. The orange one is 30 minutes. So we're gonna actually just hop in line for the green side. I think it's over here the same size. Yeah, we're going to Earth. Mission to Earth. I've heard people tell me they get more sick actually taking the Stellivator up to Space 220 than they do uh, riding the green side. <laughs> like, I think that's kind of funny. Well, the green version is a complete walk-on. Also, it's really cool to point out that the first family in space in 2030 also has a Dalmatian. Looks like we've got the job of four people today because it's going to be just me on my own. So I'm going to have to man all the controls. If you are not a fan of enclosed spaces, this ride is not for you. You have to go inside here. And it's very tight. This actually folds down and there's no space. Like this actually disappears, just your leg room. So I think we'll sit right in the middle. Surgeon, how are we doing? There we go. All good for launch. All good for launch. A reminder. You're a engineer. Just a reminder. I decided to be the pilot today. The cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings uh, for landing. Your Make sure it's locked. There we go. You ready to go? Yes. Right. I'm excited. Warning. Engine panel closing. If needed, space sickness bags are located on the instrument panel. Space sickness bags? Space sickness bags. You know what that means. <laughs> Control. We are still waiting for clearance to launch. Everything is A-OK, -okay, and countdown should resume shortly. Oh boy. No pressure. Oh. 
<laughs> I don't like the sound of that. It is terrifying me. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear my rocking ship creaking like an old wooden door. It's pretty disturbing and scary, actually. Let's see if we can catch it on camera again for you. <laughs> Coming in hot. We made it. Boom. Oh, there's our safety net. Down and clear. Well, that was fun and interesting. I can't believe it was like squeaking like it way the like the way it was. I don't know if it comes out good like the audio on the video. I hope it does so you guys can hear it, but it literally sounded like a wooden door like opening like and closing very slowly. And I was like, "Oh boy, definitely maybe needs a refurbishment, maybe a touch up." Anywho's, I think uh, test track is still down. So, I'm not too sure. Maybe we might have to head right on into World Showcase. Yep, it's still closed and I kind of feel like if I walk away I'm gonna hear test track running and then be like, oh no and then rush back here But I think we're just gonna have to move along I mean, it's not even like test running so it has to test run a couple times before they start letting guests back in So uh, I guess another day we'll come and ride test track I'm hoping to be able to catch some of the Christmas stories from the different countries that I haven't got to see yet Like maybe in Italy and I think they also have one in China So we'll just see if it lines up with our uh, dinner reservation at Tepanito And we'll start making our way heading towards Mexico and then ending over in Japan so we can eat one of the places that I haven't checked out for the festival of the holidays is the donut box. I know that they have the gingerbread milkshake and then they also have the annual pass one, but they also have a gingerbread Guinness. I don't know. I think that sounds a little bit interesting. I don't, I'm not too sure if I want a milkshake right now because we're going to have some hibachi later, but I can go for a stout. I can go for a Guinness, a gingerbread Guinness. Cheers to a gingerbread Guinness and look, they're still serving those weird dark cups, actually. I don't know why they have them here. I mean, it. I think it's the same amount of ounces. I still think it's a six ounce cup, but it just feels different. I don't know. Anyway, let's try it here. It's good. Good, good. It's good stout. You know, it's a good Guinness. I don't taste much gingerbread, though. I'm trying to see if it'll like hit me like after, but I'm, I'm, no, I'm not tasting, not tasting any gingerbread. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I still like Guinness, so it's still great to me. I just heard Test Track run. Oh, should we go back? I just heard it, and we're this far. I can hear it again. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> we gotta go back. You can hear it. It's like running, running. And if we get there just in time, then we don't have to wait at all. Tell the guards to open up the gates. It looks like they're starting to form a line for when the line opens up. Like, <laughs> the line is not open right now. This is a line to get in line for if the ride actually opens up. I'm going in the single rider line. The building, all food and drink must be put away before you I think I'm going to be the first person on, actually. Oh, look at that. Two rides we just walked right on. We got lucky, I say. Now 
don't have any more technical issues, so please turn around and go back out the way you came once again. Turn around and go back out the way you came. Thank you. We apologize for the convenience. Thank you. Thank you. I am not even mad for not being able to ride because that was amazing and so funny. And just to be able to be a part of something like that, because you know what I mean? Like everyone was excited. They formed a line for the line when the line actually reopened. And then they were like, yes, all right, everyone come in. Everyone started cheering. And I even walked into the single rider line. And I was like, wow, I'm going to be the first person on test track. So excited. Look at me. Bing -a -bing -boo. And then they're just like, no, sorry. Everybody just leave. <laughs> Go back out the way you came in. Just because of that, it was totally worth it. I'm happy. I think I'm just going to stand on this bridge and actually look down at the water and see if I can get anyone else to actually come over and look down and be like, hey, I wonder what he's looking at. That was hysterical. People actually looked. And you know why I kind of thought of doing that? Is because when I was walking by, there were people looking at the water. And I just stopped over and was like, I wonder what they're looking at. And I realized, I think other people would do the same thing. <laughs> All right, let's start making our route around uh, World Showcase. Ooh, what are those? Ooh, those look good. I believe the holiday show in Italy is starting like very soon so I think we're gonna just dart right over there so we can try to catch it because that's one of the ones I haven't seen yet. Holy moly it is very busy over in World Showcase. Oh there she is! Very very cool. Love of father brings toys and goodies and sweets yeah? Now, in America, I need broomsticks. See, because I am a witch. Ah! 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 I'm being very scary right now. Are you scared? Yes. A little bit scared? Just a little bit scared. Like when we are afraid we are going to get underwear for Christmas. <laughs> Now, Santa Claus comes to visit you on Christmas, yes? Oh, so close, very exciting, yeah? But do you know when La Befana comes to visit you? Yes, Halloween. On Halloween, I would love that, yes. I have a sister who, she likes Halloween. Her name is Strega Nona, so I let her play on Halloween. But I wait for a little while after Christmas, and in January, I visit on a very special night called the Eve of the Epiphany. And would you like to know why? Wow, I love the Christmas witch. She is so funny. And she's like a good mixture of Halloween and Christmas, but like she's not really Halloween. She has a sister that spends time on Halloween. But the way that she like just like presents herself, like when she was saying, look at me, I'm very scary, just kind of made me very happy. As I was watching the Christmas Witch tell her story, I realized that they have all of this actually up right now, and that means they're probably going to be doing the party over here for New Year's Eve, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited that a lot of all the New Year's Eve festivities are coming back to Epcot. Of course, we were here at Epcot last year on New Year's Eve, but the park closed, I think, at 10 o'clock, so uh, they didn't do anything, and we ended up going somewhere else and watching fireworks. But this year, I'm going to be here on New Year's Eve, and the park is open till midnight. They're going to have special New Year's Eve fireworks, and by the stage set up right there, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some parties individually around. Like, one of the places I know they have, like, a silent disco. I don't know if that's going to be returning, because that might be something hard to control, but as long as they have different festivities in each of the country I'm gonna be set looks like people are lining up for the candlelight processional and it's a very long line almost hitting Germany which I don't know how much they are gonna be able to fit in there tonight it is Stephen Curtis Chapman the uh, singer songwriter and look at this line like I said it goes all the way down here and then a bunch of switchbacks here and then of course like a couple switchbacks and then right into the theater of it itself Definitely a long, long line. 
but now I think we're gonna start making our way over to our uh, dining reservation and then this is the line right here for the dining packages so it's a very like I said look at the crowds here I mean it is very very busy but this is all to be expected like it's not like a shock factor it's still like kind of like a shock factor though because when you see it you're like wow but like if you're coming on Christmas week you gotta know I have eaten at Tepanito plenty of times in the past, but it's always just one of my favorite restaurants to come to at Epcot. I love hibachi, and I love just going inside there. It's so beautiful. Being over here in the Japan Pavilion is just beautiful in general. So uh, I'm excited to eat some food that I kind of been really craving it, you know? In fact, for my birthday, I wasn't sure what I was going to do because I really didn't have any plans and I didn't know if I was going to have anyone to hang out with. So I was trying to think of restaurants that I would want to go to on my birthday. And this was one of the places that I was thinking about, like coming out and just going on my birthday. But I ended up like hanging out with friends at Hollywood Studios and had an amazing time. And this is a couple days later, so we could do it kind of like the best of both worlds. Before we actually make our way in, look at how beautiful World Showcase Lagoon is looking right now. I love it. It kind of looks like a sunset's happening, but that's the sun actually reflecting off of Test Track, and it just looks so amazing. I'm loving the vibes here tonight. I'm loving them. All right, we're all checked in, and now we're just gonna wait. I am very interested in trying Tokyo Dining soon, like I said. This is Tokyo Dining right here, and then this is Tepanito, the hibachi, right back through this way. So it's kind of like the same restaurant, but it's completely different menus. This is more sushi based and I think more signature actually. This is just a hibachi, even though it's a very good hibachi, but I think this is like a step up. All right, we're heading back to our table. The grill's over 500 degrees. I love it, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna get chicken and shrimp, a combination. It can be super loud in here, especially because we're right underneath an exhaust fan, so I'll do my best. And also I'll do my best to show you the show, because they do cook with like a little show. Let's take a look at the menu. I know I always like to get the spicy calamari, but I think I'm gonna actually get the combination this time. I usually get uh, steak and chicken, but I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for some shrimp. So I think we'll do chicken and shrimp and extra veggies. So we're going with chicken and shrimp and spicy calamari with extra vegetables. I love the vegetables here, they're so, so good. And now we just sit back, wait for our food. I think the spicy calamari is gonna come out first. And I love just watching them cook the calamari. It is so cool, so I can't wait to show you. Hungry, huh? That's the spicy calamari right there. Look at that, isn't it so amazing? I love it, and it is a little bit spicy, just so you know, but it is so, so good. It has such a great texture to it. This is the good stuff right here. Like this, yeah? Whoa! 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, hey, I hope this is enough vegetables. Good God, yeah. that's the stuff. <laughs> okay. There we go. We got the rice, we got the noodles, we got the zucchini, the carrots, the onions, the spinach. I'm gonna pour my rice right on there like that. Flatten it out a little bit. Now we got some shrimp, some chicken, some julienne steak, a filet, a New York strip, all the works. chicken. The good old chicken. I love it here. I love it here. That's all I can say. <laughs> now we're all done and that hit the spot. So, so good. I love eating here. It's become one of my favorite restaurants at Epcot and uh, time to head back to World Showcase. But I'm pretty sure it's dark outside. Wow, has things changed since we walked in. Look at that, before we were looking at a beautiful world showcase. Even though right now it's actually still beautiful, but it's a lot darker out. It's not full sunset, but it's just about. I mean, it's gonna be pitch dark soon. Believe it or not, I don't think I'd ever eaten. Believe it or not, but I don't think I would have ever eaten at that restaurant if it wasn't for 2021. I don't know how long you guys have been watching my videos, but starting in 2021, I set out saying I want to try new food. I want to experiment trying things I normally wouldn't have eaten in the past. And I started here at Epcot, and I remember I went to Beer Garden, and I made it a point to come to every single Epcot restaurant and try something that I would not normally try. And my first time coming here at the Teppanito, I got the spicy calamari because I would have never ordered that like the old me. But I ordered it and now I have to get it every time. So I'm so grateful that I got to experience all this amazing food for the past year. It was amazing. And now we have finally made it back out to the front of World Showcase. And I just had to stop and stare at Spaceship Earth because it is so beautiful. And it's kind of cool because you don't know what to look at. You got that happening right there. And then you got the Christmas tree right there. So it's kind of like, I don't know which way to go. But you know what? Since we're in the spirit of Christmas, I think we're gonna go stare at the Christmas tree. I love it. This is one of my favorite trees. I mean, Magic Kingdom is my favorite Christmas tree, but this definitely comes at a close second because I love how it has all the different sayings for Christmas for each of the countries actually in the tree. Do any of you guys have a Christmas song that kind of just gets you sad? Well, not sad, just emotional. Like, I have a couple of Christmas songs every time I hear them. I just kind of get a little emotional. And I have no, I mean, I guess I do know why, but it's just, you know, something I always wondered. Like, let me know in the comments if you guys have any of those Christmas songs. Like, what are they? For me, like, uh, that one song that's, uh, Have yourself a merry little Christmas. That song always gets me, like, kind of emotional. And then also... Uh, so this is Christmas and what have you done another year over that one always gets me too and I know I'm not like a good singer but I feel like Christmas songs don't count there's no judgment when it comes to singing Christmas songs you just kind of enjoy I mean it's the Christmas it's the it's the holiday spirit you know I think I'm gonna head in the creation shop real quick and look at some of the uh, spirit jerseys to see if they got the one bonbons looking for. 
Well, take a look here. It looks like they have plenty of the Lux 50th anniversary spirit jerseys and pants. These were just released and they're super expensive. So if you wanted to get the ears, the spirit jersey and the pants, the ears are $1,000 right here, $1,000. And then the spirit jersey, which is right here. I don't even know why it's like a spirit jersey. It kind of is like a hoodie. It's got a hoodie on it and everything like that. This one is $150. And then the pants, are $130. Wow. So, I mean, that's an expensive, like, outfit. Can you imagine walking around wearing that, that, and that? You might have to get insured. Also, it looks like they've got plenty of the Mickey Waffle Lounge Flies, too. I know these were actually really popular. People wanted to buy these. But I don't know how much these are. Let's see. Oh, $85. I think that's kind of expensive. But, I mean, it is kind of nifty. I like the butter on there. Wait a second, maybe I was wrong. Maybe those really expensive ears aren't like the same line as this one. I don't know. I'm really not that like well known in the fashion, but I think this matches it. Like this 50th anniversary lounge fly matches it a little bit better. And I don't know, this one's $300. Holy moly. And then they also have the ears down here. These are like some fancy ears right here. I don't know how much these are. They don't have a price on them though. But why are they on this thing like that? It's so awkward. Oh yeah, they even got the security tags. They ain't playing around with that. I don't see a price, so I don't know how much they are. Let me know in the comments though. Are they expensive? I know the other ones were like a thousand dollars, weren't they? Oh, three hundred dollars. Ooh, boy. That's steep. <laughs> wow. But still no castle jersey for Bon Bon. Like I said, I think we're just gonna have to wait. They're coming down in January anyway, so maybe they'll be restocked by then. And the best thing about that castle jersey is it's for the 50th anniversary. It has the castle on it, so it's not like a holiday exclusive. And we're technically in the 50th anniversary until like next year. <laughs> so she still might be able to get it. We made our way back down in front of Spaceship Earth and holy moly, look at the line still. It is so busy. This line right here to the right is the Lightning Lane line. So this is like the Lightning Lane Redemption. And there's a huge line on the other side. It definitely did not get slower and it just got busier and busier. And I feel like that's how Epcot is. Ooh, I love when we just caught like Spaceship Earth like changing the lights as we're standing underneath it. Look at, you can kind of, oh, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Isn't it just so beautiful? Oh, I love it. Ooh. I could spend like the whole night underneath Spaceship Earth. <laughs> oh, you can just see everything change. All the lights, look it. This isn't a filter. This is happening in real life. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> Ooh, oh. <laughs> Well, I guess with that, we are done here. <laughs> I had such a fun day. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope everyone enjoys their holidays with their families. I'm going to enjoy the holidays with my families when my mom comes down in January. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for uh, Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day. So we'll see you next time. Bye. On my way out, I noticed a sign right here still says minivan and taxi on it. That's really interesting since the minivans don't actually exist anymore, but they have it there and it's got a cute little mini symbol right here. Can you see it? I actually like the minivan concept. I mean, it's a lot uh, more expensive than like Uber or Lyft, but uh, for people on vacation, I don't know, it's kind of like a nice thing to splurge. So sad that it's gone. Maybe it'll bring it back though, you never know.